you know, yeah. despite being somewhat of an adversarial crowd in some situations, uh, we saw that last night uh, with uh, Gore. Yep. There was a big, a big contingency of Armenian fans here, and definitely they make their presence heard mm -hmm. for those Turkish lifters. So I don't think we'll see that in this session as well. It's not the audience that we had last night, but nonetheless, mm -hmm. the Turks are here. Well, we just saw Yusuf going from our screams. He's weighing uh, 71 kilos, so he's still clearly filling out this category after being a 67 at the World Champs. Here, though, Briken Kalja, Kalja Briken. Let's see how he gets on. Very interesting technique. Often doesn't move his feet. And the camera's going to cut. There's Mohamed Ozbek. He'll likely be our first athlete out. 130 kilos loaded for him, the reigning European champion. Very funny guy, very cheeky. As soon as he saw me coming over, he turned. He had a bit of a grin. Uh, very nice guy. And a, a, a bit of a phenom in the clean and jerk. Less so in the snatch. Here's the Georgian team. Kaki Asanidzi, of course, his head coach here will be his father, Georgi Asanidzi, the 2004 Olympic champion, coaching his son. And he's lifted pretty well recently. You know, at the World Championships, he snatched 148 kilos, clean jerked 179. He hasn't yet totaled 330 kilos, but he's within three kilos of it. Maybe today will be the day, as we mentioned, Max, we assume that 330 kilos are going to be what's needed. And as it looks like Ripfast is competing. Yeah, I, I hadn't seen him once in the training hall. We hadn't seen him anywhere. We assumed that the Latvians just weren't even going to show. But 90 kilos locked and loaded on the bar. He's put in for 145 as his opener. Max Lang now at 135 kilos. Real veteran of the sport. Best lifts in this category of 150, 185. Numbers that could well take a gold medal here if he replicates them. He's lifted more in previous categories as an 81. You know, we've seen him snatch 154, clean jerking 187. He jerked 214 once off the blocks, I believe. Yeah, he's been very strong before. So that looks good. Yeah. Now we have Andrev Bozidar. Weighing bang on 73 kilos, not losing any excess weight, an extremely fast lifter. Moves his hands in the jerk as the bar lifts off his shoulders, hands move out. And in the snatch, just incredible technique. Toes always pointed slightly in that starting position, knees out, real textbook lifting, extremely fast. In fact, I remember prior to Right around that Rio 2016 era, I think I saw him snatch 170 kilos from the blocks. Yeah, just easy. Yeah. We saw him giving a, uh, a massage to his teammate Carlos Nassar yesterday morning. Carlos lying face first on the floor in the training hall with uh, Andreev on top of him, just rubbing his back, warming him up. There's Mikrozani. Mikrozani is certainly known as a bit of a snatch specialist. You know, a, a good clean and jerker, no doubt, but a great snatcher. Here he's just playing around of 70, just loosening up. It'll be interesting to see what sort of tactics the Italians play here. You know, the World Championships, he lifted... Uh, I thought he lifted well at the World Championships. Looks like no, he, he didn't. Bombed, oh, right. he bombed. I yeah. My memory of it was that he lifted pretty well. I must be thinking of the European Championships last year, 150, 177. That was it, yeah. That was a, a great total um, last year. But yeah, he didn't He didn't place it at the World Championships. Yeah, we actually saw the entire, the most of the in entire Italian team, really. Yeah. Uh, didn't perform super well at Worlds. I think they've done a bit better job here, though, so far. And Kaki Asanidzi, the man on the screen there, dangerous for the other athletes. He told us that he's totaled over 340 kilos in training this year. Wow. Now, as we mentioned at the start of this, we imagine that 340 would win this. I'd be surprised if we had more than one athlete over there, so it, it, he's certainly capable of it. Bit of a knee meniscus injury, but that doesn't seem to have stopped him particularly. And so All I right. think we're going to get underway now. 
this extremely exciting men's 73 kilo category. Mohamed Ozbek, the reigning champion, first athlete out. I mean, yeah. that just shows how incredibly stacked this session is. He's got very short arms. Helps him a lot in the uh, in the jerk. A little bit tougher in the, in the snatch. Oh, very nice opener. Yeah. Yeah. He is so quick, so snappy. Yeah, yeah. The way he lifts, just really, really enjoyable to watch. Yeah, but also that, that snappiness might cause him some issues here because he is suffering from that wrist injury. Yeah. And he really snaps those wrists into full extension there as he goes under. It's very abrupt, very fast and sharp. Hopefully that doesn't cause him any issues today. His teammate, who... Uh, I might be a bit, might be a bit premature of me to be picking this guy as a potential winner here, especially because he's out so early and he's never even competed at this weight category. But I mean, yeah. my feeling is that he's looked great in training. He looked yeah. very strong in the training hall. I just think he might be able to pull something big out in the clean and jerk. Yeah, basically the complete opposite body type too of his teammate: longer limbs, a little bit shorter body. Yeah. fast though oh yeah so Do you know strong. what i mean about you know we mentioned yesterday there's a couple of interesting obvious markers to the turkish technique and with their they sort of have tall athletes and short athletes and with their taller athletes the layback that they get yeah you know they get their sh shoulders so far back behind the bar and then he pulls himself in and just doesn't move yeah you can see just the speed that's required to move under they don't quite get that same vertical extension like we see the germans for example right here yeah. but uh they make up for that with incredible speed under the bar so max lang now from germany up 143 for his opener seven kilos below his best in this category Very smooth contact, very snappy with the feet as he pulls under. Takes his time, he's very methodical. Nice opener. Gosh, he's gotten so wide in that grip recently. Yeah. You know, he doesn't even have particularly long arms, but He's so strong and muscular in his upper body that that wide grip, he's able to use. And also, because his bar path is so straight, yeah, you can he doesn't have to work too hard to prevent any forwards or backwards movement. Just how different he is than the previous two Turkish lifters. Yeah. Very calculated, bar is super close, very vertical. Out comes Ozbek now. His best snatch is 149. Six kilos off that here on his second. Oh, that's oh, yeah. just brilliant. Beautiful lift. Such tremendous speed, very different technically to his teammate. But yep. and you know, not only is his wrist sore, he told us that his ankles and legs are, to quote him, seriously sore. So he's not particularly ambitious necessarily, but he's putting in a good show. Yeah, although we haven't really opened up with the heavy hitters yet in the snatch. Still, though, we're seeing some pretty good lifts here. We'll see these these early snatches. For these three athletes, they are all strong clean and jerkers. So yeah. the better they do here, the, the the more they can turn the tide in the second half of this competition. Yusuf Gench, 143. 
Now this is technically going to be a three kilo international record for him now that he's moved up to this category. So that gain in body weight is really showing already. Very strong. Yeah, yeah he is definitely He's athletic. Shape. He's so powerful, so strong. And look, you can just see a lot in his body language there, just running off. He's having a good time. He's excited to get back. Yeah, it's a beautiful lift here. Dyed his hair specifically for this competition. <laughs> <laughs> well, they say look good, lift good. They do. Yeah, see, we can see already we've got three coaches here mm -hmm. ready to make changes, move around. Andruskovic there. I mean, he moves around teams as much as Zygmunt does. He does, at this yeah. Point. He's coaching a new country every single competition. Back with Latvia now, which is good to see. I believe Re uh, Rebecca Kohar, ex-Latvian athlete who now lives in uh, Qatar, who's mentioned she's going to start competing again for Qatar, will be heading to training camps within Europe and will be alongside the, her old Latvian team, I think, oh, for okay. some of these training camps. Well, they... They certainly did a good job the first half of her career. Yeah. So Kaki Asenidze. Yeah, 145 for Asenidze. This is a pretty solid opener for him. 150 is his best snatch. The clock is running down, but we don't see him anywhere. There Ooh. he is. Yeah, coming out now. Smooth. Yeah, he looks great. Yep, he's in fantastic shape. He made 150 kilos last year at the European Championships, 148 at the World Championships. Pretty consistent athlete. Could this be the time he finally hits 330 in the total? 150, 180 would do it. Osbeck taking the two kilo jump to 145. Oh, he's moved up. Yep. So now it's an interesting question. The battle between the two Turks. What's going to happen <laughs> here? We see. I imagine Yusuf will bump up as yep. well, maybe. His clock just started, so we're going to probably see him move up. Everyone's moved to 46, except Genj. His clock's running down a bit. Yeah, so Andrea Bozidar now at 146. Actually, at six attempts, six made lifts. Yeah, this is this might be our record of the competition. Yeah, this is the session where potentially it's going to be so close because everyone is that good. So Bozidar jumps to 147. That's going to bring Max Lang back out. Three athletes have 146 written in. Max good. is going to take it. I think the two. Uh, Turkish lifters might also take this. First lift was very solid, really vertical. We see that with the Germans, just a very upright extension at the top. Max told us his best snatch this year is 145 kilos in training, so this will be a best for 2023. Yeah, just a bit forward. Mm -hmm. You know, occasionally he loses behind, but it, it tends to be that he's just a little forward. He, he really doesn't lean back after contact. Yeah. He makes very smooth contact. It's always a touch forward. 
Yeah, there's this fine balance that needs to be played. The bar has to get into the right place, balanced over your foot. If you're a little bit too, too vertical or you extend too far, it's going to move the bar too much. So, Mohamed Ozbek here, one four six. That Beautiful is attempt. Such a great wow. Lift. Oh. The speed under is just. You know, if he. There's no riding the bar down, yeah, is there? He meets it at its absolute depth, but the bar's not crashing because he only peaks it. Yeah. He's barely above where he catches it, and so there's not this downward momentum. Yep. Yeah, we see that, you know, the more advanced an athlete gets, the lower they're going to catch the bar. The lower they have to pull the bar yeah. to, the more weight they can lift, and he's just maximized that. You can see just. Technically perfect, very solid. So his teammate now, Yusuf Gensh, coming out, one four six. He wants to stay neck and neck with him. They both have the same clean and jerk opener at 180. So this would presumably give him the same position as his teammate. Yeah, we've seen other Turkish athletes go neck and neck in the snatch and then separate out in the clean jerk. Wow. <laughs> there we go. Another great attempt. <laughs> oh, this is fantastic. It is so fun to watch. These two Turkish athletes are just great fun. Yeah, that ball. Great rivalry. That's a six kilo PR for him. Yeah, he's he's, he's happy. The old jumping double high five yeah. there at the end. Now, presuming Max Zhang's about to come out, is this... Can we finally mention what he said to us? I think so. We'll Is it about it. time? So we we this wasn't a translation. He sent this to us in English. He said, "The Olymp because of the Olympic qualification, no one will do a chili milli competition." I'm not sure exactly <laughs> what that means, but chili milli. I wonder if no. Well, I think that I think it means we relax. I think chili milli is what you say when you're having a a cool <laughs> lager. Is it ah? Uh, in your, yeah, in your a backyard. A crisp German pilsner. Yeah. Mm. A chili milli. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, 146. He missed this on his second. Ah, uh, just a over slight correction. Over, yep, exactly. Yeah, he's but not it happy always with comes that. from. I mean, it, it is always, it's a forward issue because on yeah. that one, he j he still jumped forward yeah. and the bar didn't go forward with him. I mean, that bar was, is actually perfectly straight. You can see it from that angle. Yeah, it's difficult when you're vertical like that because yeah. you lose yeah. a little bit of range of motion in the back. Vertical right. plus a wide grip yeah, again. equals, you have to be precise. Yeah. The There's Germans, very little you can do. Germans definitely are, are craftsmen of the sport. They they take it seriously. They, they take it extremely seriously. Yeah. They, do a lot of work on, on every aspect of the sport, but it's still tough. He is, you know, just to give an example of how close this is, he's only three kilos behind, even though he's only made one snatch. Yeah. So maybe the opposite of the German system here. We have Andrew. Although Hazidar. it has to be said, as far as Bulgarians go, I've always thought that Bozidar is the most consistent looking, the most textbook yeah. looking lifter. He made 154 kilos at the World Championships. Great performance for him there. <laughs> oh, a minor correction, but he's wow. able to get up with it. Yeah, great ability to save that lift. He you was can see his heels came off the floor in the catch. Landed on his toes yeah. pretty badly. Yeah, he placed fourth at the World Championships, which is, uh, well, I mean, a few things about that. One, it puts him in a great position for the Olympic ranking. Yes. You know, he's in the top eight. He's in an Olympic spot right now. Although, of course, we've not seen Xi Ziyong turn up, but even so. Uh, and then, you know, the fact that he's that close to medals at a world level, surely he's going to be thinking about a gold here today. So up now is Ritvars. I'm actually a bit curious how he's going to perform here. Yeah. You know, like you said, we hadn't seen him at all in the training hall. 
He's done big lifts in training in his history. Again, with Rip Voss, whether he makes or he doesn't, every lift that he does, you can tell that he's just trained that thousands of times. So snappy. Oh, beautiful. That was oh, very was strong. Shape. Yep. Exciting. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It, it went, the way that he moves, it's just this is a guy who's been lifting since he was five years old. Yeah. I remember watching him when he was, I think he was maybe 14, and he was like the next big thing. Yeah. Lifts of his were coming up on social media, and the whole weightlifting world sort of sat back and watched as he got better and better and better. Never reached the point that I think a few of us thought. Never became a world champion, or a, I'm not even sure he ever won the European Championships, but he's always been in the hunt for medals. He's been, always been around that medal mark. Yeah, he's definitely a contender here in this session in the snatch. Junior European champion he was back in 2019. As an 81, of course, he, he cut down to the 73s well, he's after got, the Olympics. He's got 148 in. Obviously, that's going to move yeah. up here. We'll see if he takes the 50. We've only had two misses. Yeah, both from the same lifter as well. Yeah, 10 makes. The Germans aren't going to be happy about that. No. Nope. You know, they, they're the ones who are ruining this scoreboard right now. Mirko Zani, I think, out next. He's an athlete who, uh, well, there are a few different interesting things here. A, the Italians are, are just going heavy because they're looking for Olympic spots. They're trying to get in the top eight. But then there's also the fact that he hasn't yet totaled during the Olympic yeah. qualifying procedure. So yep. time's not necessarily running out. He's plenty of other opportunities, but... You know, he, he's going to feel a lot better if he makes a total. Yeah, 150 opener here. This equals his best in the category. Oh, oh strong. yeah. Great start <laughs> wow. from Mirko Zion. That's what we wanted to see. He had a rough go at Worlds to come out, make his opener at 150, and look He just equaled his solid. best. Solid. Yeah, that's a he's very, never done that. very good start for, wow. for him. So I think now is, is really my biggest question mark on this board is what is Cal Jabrickin going to do? He's got well, he was always going to open a kilo up on F1. It's, yeah. the, it's the uh, Albanian way, isn't it? Yeah, he's got the 151 here. You know, if he makes this, if he's if he's in shape and can put together some, some lifts and a total, he is very dangerous. <laughs> this, this is what we find out. just the biggest question. Can he make a total? It could be, you know, six minutes until anyone else lifts or he's going to make it. Yeah. It's going to be one of the two. Well, even looking at that board, I, I may be wrong. I mean, we've got we've got still almost everybody with their second attempts. Yeah. And 151. Everybody wants it. Yeah. What a competitive session this is. He made 150 at Worlds. No. No, that was... That wasn't quite close no. there. That does not inspire a lot of confidence for the next two attempts. And, and he's in a bad spot, but that potentially. That's what he does. And he, he does sometimes come back and make yeah, it. Yeah. You know. Well, there's definitely some lifts between his first and second, for sure. I think Asenidze here is definitely going to take this 151. That's a six kilo increase to a personal record for him. You'd think that Bozidel might take it also. Yeah. But Kaki is going to come out now. A huge wow. personal best for him. Yeah, this is a big, big lift for him. Well, this is a one kilo personal best. He made 150. Uh, when was it? Oh, the last year's Europeans. Yeah, it was a bit of a, a bit of a controversial make. Uh, it was, yeah. It dropped that was the bar. The, uh, it hit the platform, yeah. broke the platform. Gadelli dove through it, yeah. Oh, oh, he's got plenty of strength for yeah, it. Just a touch behind his dad there, his coach. Yeah. Gives the shrug, kind of a, why'd you do that? Yeah. You can do better. Probably a tough dad to yeah. have. You know, his standards are so high with the rest of the team. Yeah. You know, and to some degree, all these athletes live and train in these training camps for a large portion of the year with with, Kaki, uh, with Georgi Asanidzi, but then they all get to go home at some point. And uh, 
Kaki never gets to escape it. Yeah, well, now you've got 151 here is, is the lift to make. Yep, so far it's defeated two athletes. Can it defeat Bozada? And he caught that first one pretty forward on his toes. It was not super stable, but he had a great attempt to save it, made it. He's been well over this at 157 yeah. before, so he's familiar. 163 is an 81. He's probably made this dozens of times. This week? Yeah. Oh, better, far better than the that's first. That's great. That's, that's what we expect from Andrev. I spoke so to his good. coach this mo literally this morning. I said, do you think he's going to do well today? And he said, mm, probably not. He's not in very good shape. And he just snatched 151 kilos and he made it look great. Yeah. You know, if it's one thing about the Bulgarians, you just can't be sure. No, I, th I think they lie sometimes just for the fun <laughs> of it. <laughs> oh, I also spoke to them because I was interested to know if they knew about your history with Abhijayev. Oh. They do. They do? Yeah, they said oh, that they'd seen your video talking about your experiences oh, training wow. with him and talking about Bulgarian weightlifting. Yeah. I should probably make more of an effort to talk to them <laughs> yeah. during training hall <laughs> sessions. Okay, so Briken Kalja now, second attempt. He missed this on his opener. Never one to pull the bar high. He's got to be fast. Wow. That was closer than Much the better. first. Yep. It's getting Much there. Much better, yeah. He's He was more patient, brought the bar higher to his hip. Now, what it, why... Why do the Albanians have this tactic? You know, it, to some degree, it makes sense now with the new Olympic qualifying procedure, you know, one big total. Yeah. But th this isn't new for them. They've always done this. It's like they value a gold medal in an individual lift extremely highly, and they don't mind about bombing out. You know, we've talked about this before with the Albanians, with, with a lot of lifters and coaches. It's, it's a question of, you know, what, what can be made? You know, what lifts can be made, and are you taking those lifts? And, you know, three attempts to make 151, maybe a, a different strategy, uh, you know, success and momentum might be better. Making 45, 50, 52, yeah. three. All right, 150, 151 for Asenidze here. This is a record for him, personal record. By Kilo. He's very close on the last attempt. Pushed it a little too far behind. That's oh, the one. That's got to be the one. Save. Great what lift. A lift. Yep. He knows that he is over oh, the moon with that. Well, he knows that he's going to need it because if he wants to total over 330 for the first time, getting over 151 is a great start because he knows that he can get around that 179 range. I mean, he's done it before. Yep. And as of right now, he's sitting in second in the snatch. We've got two more. This is such a tight, tight session. Yep. Two more lifters definitely coming out. Well, at least one coming out 152 here. Ritvar is for sure. We'll see what Mirko Zani does. Mirko will presumably jump a little bit more. Yeah, he is one of the strongest snatchers here. Maybe the strongest snatcher in this session. I, d I just can't. Uh, well, I can't make a. I just can't make a call. I need. We need to see how far ahead people are going to get in the snatch. It's just so close, and the, and the clean and jerks are, are are even closer. I still think that. If Yusuf Gench can be within six six kilos of the lead, I think he can hit a big cleaner jack. Yeah. But if some of these guys start moving up into the 55 range, I think he, I, I think that'll be too much for him. Rid Vars taking 152. Yeah, as a 73, he's only made 145. So he's already ahead of that. 147 on his opener. Yeah, 163 he made at the Olympic Games as an 81 kilo lifter. And he made the tough call to drop down. Oh, beautiful lift. So good. Wow. The speed of it. Some exceptional lifting tonight. You know, he so just he just looks like uh he looks different. You know, he looks so focused. Yeah. He, there's no messing around there. You know, just great technicians here. I mean, every one of these lifts has looked fantastic. 
you know, we're seeing a couple of people struggle, maybe run forward a little bit, but these are some very talented lifters. This is some exceptional lifting today. Yeah, 152 now, the number to surpass. Algebraican taking that same 152. One kilo jump yep. might be what he needs. You know, you have to ask yourself, as a coach, as a competitor, what did his last warm-ups look like? I what wonder was where does the funding come from? All these athletes are not making totals. Yeah. Second was better than the first, though. A little bit more here. He's got to do this to stay in the competition. Oh, oh that was so much closer. Yep. He overpulled it just a touch. And so that's his seventh bomb out of his career. Yeah. It, it, it seems yeah, as I think though going we've for 10. almost never seen him no. total. No, I, w I mean, when? 2021? Yeah, it's just been so long. You know, and seemingly, you know, had that been 145, 147, it, it looked like it would have been a, a for sure thing. He's just so close, but so far. Now, I would say that this right here, this is the man, Mirko Zani, who's looking, he's looking the strongest physically in the snatch so far. Yeah. That opener of 150, the heaviest yeah. opener of, well, other than Brick End, the, the heaviest successful opener of the bunch. And he made it look very comfortable. He wants desperately to be a top eight lifter so that he can get to the Olympic Games. It's everything for the Italians. Oh, very Perfect. solid. Yeah. Wow. What a lift. It's a new personal best for Mirko Zani by three kilos. What we've a way to get started. We've had first through third jockey around. Every lift here is changing. And then Basidar is no stranger to big snatch. No. 157 is his best. He is a serious competitor Well, he made well. 154 at the World Champs. The winning snatch of the World Championships was 155. That was Rizki Jinansir. Yeah. From Indonesia, who then went on to hit a big 192. So Bazidar taking the 54 to get ahead. This is his third, though. Still two more lifters with one attempt each. This will equal what he made recently. His first was a little forward, second was great. Uh, third, just a touch off. Yeah. Bar swung and he was slightly forward on his foot. As the weight goes up, he seems to be just pulled a little bit further forward. Uh, he's still in third. Yeah, he's in a good he's spot. He's going to get a, a bronze and snatch yep. for sure. So a little bit of a battle now between Rip Vasu Harris and Mirko Zani, two athletes who have been competing at this high level for so long. Both of them asking for 155 kilos. I'm not sure I could pick who's looking stronger. They both look great right now. Yeah. You know, Rip Vass, maybe a bit snappier, but Mirko Zani just so smooth with that pull, that turnover. Mirko Zani is very strong. So Ripfast will go first. And you have to imagine if any of these athletes total 340, they will basically guarantee their Olympic spot. You'd think. Yeah, I would, I would be surprised to see that fall below the top eight. Mm. Oh, oh a, it was right there. A hair shy at the top. Yeah. Wow. So close. Well, he leaves himself open now. Mirko Zani. 
was the strongest, was one of the best snatchers coming into this outside of Bozidar. And uh, absolutely, he's still in first. This just really gives him a shot to uh, position himself as best he can in the clean and jerk. He's not the strongest clean and jerker here. Well, Mirko needs this because, you know, he's the kind of person who, well, he, he can't clean and jerk over 180. Yeah. Hasn't done. Maybe he will today, but a lot of these athletes can. Some of them might touch into the 90s, so he needs as big a lead as he can get here. Oh, there we beautiful. go. That's the one. Unbelievable. And the Italians are so happy. Look at the coaches. Thrilled with that lifting. Yeah, fantastic. They didn't even tell us they if you've got any lights. They just moved straight to the clean and joke. It was so That's good. Max so good. They didn't even need to inform yeah. us. Yeah, what a snatch session. What wow. a session. Is that 12 kilos separates last being, uh, well, technically Calja, who, who bombed out, but... Max Lang at 143, all the way up to 155 with uh, Mirko Zani. The gold to Mirko, the silver medal to Rip Vasu Harevs. Man, we didn't even expect to show at this competition, 152. Yeah. Bronze, Andrea Bozidar with 151. But we also have Kaki at 151. You know, things are very, very close. Yeah, there's two athletes opening at 180. We know they're very capable in the clean and jerk. We know that Osbeck has a huge clean and jerk. We need to take note that the athlete that placed fifth and sixth and seventh in the snatch all came from the B session. Yeah, this is a, a very competitive class. Yeah, Erkan Karamaj, uh, David Lopez, there was another athlete as well who lifted more than these athletes. And then Mohamed Osbeck, Yusuf Gench, and Max Lang fall below a three of those B session lifters. Didn't expect that. So we're in the 10 minute break here before we begin the clean and jerks. This is gonna be probably just as aggressive, if not worse than the snatches. I think we're gonna see a lot of attempts, a lot of attempts that uh, potentially push each other pretty far. I wouldn't be surprised to see, yeah, possibly six plus lifters here taking a shot at 180 or more. Yeah, absolutely. And, and a fair few maybe yeah. taking a shot at 190 or more. Yeah, you know, it could, it could come down to the number of makes. If we have a lot of makes, we could see some serious attempts here. Oh, it's absolutely possible. You know, and I think this is maybe the most made lifts we've seen in a session oh, so far. By far, yeah. 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 Only eight athletes are a very fast-paced session. It's, it's not been long since we've kicked off, and we'll be back underway with clean jerks. We've only got about eight minutes, I think, to where to a back underway, so not long, but yeah. fortunately it's Max Lang opening up and he's had a longer rest than anyone else. He's put in for 173 kilos for his opening attempt there. The heaviest opening attempt we have written in, 182, that's Brick and Calger, which is no surprise really. I mean, you know what he's like. Yeah. He opens heavy, he, he misses lifts, and he opens heavy and he misses lifts, you know. Albanians do as Albanians do. It's but a, 180 for the two Turkish lifters. Yeah, I think I think that's what I'm most excited for here. They both went three for three in the snatch. We know Osbeck's got a very big clean and jerk in him. Uh, you know, he might not have done much in the snatch compared to what everyone else did here, but he's sitting in a spot that you know he's got to be comfortable with. He uh -huh. snatched very well. All he's got to do is put together you know his specialty. Yeah, there's Kajal Bricken taping up for uh, whatever he's going to do in the clean and jerk here. He's got 182 there. I guess go for a medal. Possibly, or or. or well, he said three. to us, he said that he's gone through many serious and many sort of transient injuries, but the will I have never pulled me, the will I have never pulled me back. What what would that have meant? The will he has the will to always come back. I guess after yeah. injuries is what he's saying. Um, yeah, he said he's always focused on his dream to be a serious athlete and a strong opponent for everyone. We asked him what he thought about his fellow competitors, he said something which I thought was very nice. He said, I'm happy to share my story with theirs. Wow. Which is <laughs> yeah. actually a really lovely thing to say. It is, yeah. About yeah. the athletes you're competing against. Yeah, you see him even in the warm-ups and you see him in the uh, the lineup there kind of yeah. congratulate, you know, 
He's, uh, he's very warm, a warm person. There's Gench, 110 on the bar. Very long arms, you can see there. Yeah, well he said to us, uh, he said he's not had any serious injuries, but the training trials have really tired him out. He also um, is pretty confident that he's going to one day break the clean and jerk world record. That's what he told us. He actually wow. said to everybody, stay tuned, because I'm going to definitely break the clean and jerk world record. And then he said, one day. One day. I was hoping he was going to say he was going to do it here. <laughs> I don't think he's quite got it in him to do it today. Yeah. But, like I said, I, I could see him taking the gold medal in the clean and jerk today. That's a, that's a hefty number. 201 mm -hmm. would be that number. Well, I mean, if he's a gold medal clean and jerk at the world championships level, which he is, as a 67, yeah, then you'd assume as, uh, at a Continentals, even though he's not fully filled out, he's got to be the person you're, you're putting money on. Because Zani already at 120, that's one of the issues of being such a snatch specialist. He, he opens up early. So broad on his upper body, isn't he? Yeah, he's got, he really has the upper body proportions for a great snatcher. A little bit broader shoulders, a little bit longer arms. There's Mohamed Ozbek. He's, you know, the, the reality... The opposite of Zani, really. Well, the reality, I was just going to say, too, is that in most cases, he'd probably be waiting to warm up, but really everyone's mm -hmm. at the same number here. I mean, we've got, uh, I mean, excluding Kaljo, we've got seven kilograms between the first attempt yeah, yeah. and and uh, Osbeck, and that could change. Yeah. I don't, I don't think Lang's going to bump from 73, would be my guess, but mm -hmm. Bazidar may. Well, Max Lang told us that his best... In training this year is 180 kilos. He's been focusing, he said, on mind-muscle connection. I think when you get to the point where he's at, where he's trained for so long, he's it's pretty much as strong as he can get. It's just these little technical things. It's just focusing intently on how his body's supposed to feel and how it does feel and trying to notice any changes to how his body's feeling. That's what he's going for now. I'm going to have to read it out one more time as... He stares down this 170. He said to us about his competitors, they're well prepared like always. Because of the Olympic qualification, no one will do a chilly milly competition. I'm looking forward to it. With a big smile on his face. So that's just great, isn't it? Yeah. It's just so great. A chilly milly competition. Possibly could become his nickname, Chilly Milly Lang. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's Chilly Milly to the max. Yeah. What, what Would that mean going six for six? Or is it what he's done now, go one for three? Has he done a Chilly Milly? I, I think or is that the goal? I think the opposite of chilly milly is is what we've seen here with with these attempts. Yeah, everyone's going hard for these. Calgary for sure, not chilly milly. No, he has done a chilly milly because he said because of the Olympic qualifications, no one will do a chilly milly. I.e., everyone's going to lift well, but he hasn't lifted well. well I think so lift he's done a chilly milly. I would think that means lift big, maybe not lift well. Okay, take big attempts. Ta okay, he's definitely done. Take that. no prisoners. Yeah, yeah, right. Uh huh. Well, he's, yeah, okay. The best clean and jerk from the B session was 185 kilos. That is an enormous total in the B session there. 150, 185, 335. Yeah, we'll have to keep our eyes on that for sure because that could, that could that end could up, be up a, there. That could yeah. be a total medal in, in all honesty. Uh, yeah. It must have been very tight on the entry totals. I'm a bit surprised he's not in. he wasn't in this session. I think they all bumped up huge entry totals to get yeah. into that A session. And uh, a bit like they did at the World Championships in the women's 49s, where oh all athletes yeah. put in over 205, and only one athlete beat their entry total. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think everybody had 200 plus, yeah. and there was only one 200. Yeah. So two two minutes 20 seconds, and Andrea still on 70 kilos here. Well, you know he'll take big jumps. Well, it makes me wonder if he's. Well, not he's the bump second yeah. athlete out technically that, at 174. That's, that's why I think he's going to bump up something much bigger. So he's. I mean, at least if nothing I happens. He's supposed to be out in three minutes. At least <laughs> one. At least 175. He needs uh, to add another 104 kilos to the bar in three minutes. He may even take 76, 77, which yeah. would, would really bump him He'll quite a bit higher. Time. He's done 191. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, he he. He may surprise us. He may open quite a bit higher than that. That, or we'll see him put uh, 120, then 150, then <laughs> then open. 
all in a few minutes. I'd heard stories like that. Athletes uh, in the training camps, the yeah. training halls in Bulgaria, taking in extraordinary jumps, taking lifts that were, you know, uh, maybe three or four attempts to get to uh, near world record weights. Now, Kanki Asanidzi already with 170 kilos loaded, which leaves yeah. me to believe that he probably is going to take that 175 kilo opener because he's warmed up very early. Yeah. You know, if he's thinking about bumping up to six, 76 or 77, he won't be out for 10 minutes, and I would have thought he's, he's warmed up too soon, so he may well take that 75. Yeah, I think we're going to definitely see Mirko Zani. Oh, we've got a move. Max Lang went up 175. I didn't expect okay. that. So Bozadal's going to have to go up yeah. because he was at 70 kilos a second ago. Counter Brakens at 70 as well in the corner of our screen. Yeah. Wow. This is this is bizarre because there's not much time. There's not a lot of time for these lifters. We just saw the Bulgarians run over. I don't know if you yeah. saw Bozadal and Andreas coach sprinting to say no. We can't. We can't possibly come out. He's not even loaded the 15s. This could be a disaster. I mean, potentially. Look at look at how people are moving. We saw another yeah. Bozadar moved. He's <laughs> moved to 78. Maybe Rit Kaki will be ready. Yeah. He needs to take that 170 Rit quick. Ritvar has moved to 77. Oh, my word. Zani's probably going to take 75. I, I would be surprised if he... Play the safe game. Yeah, if he uh, bumps up. Well, that's already massive because his best ever is 77. Yeah, that's a huge opener. So 75 would give him a personal best in the total. You know, he snatched 55, so he's in good shape. It looks like the Italians are coming out. Yeah, yeah Mirko's yeah. ready for this. He's going to buy some of these athletes a bit of time to to warm up, but they better warm up quick. Yeah, I'm, I'm really curious about Razidar here because yeah. he was on uh, 70 kilos. He's only moved to 178, and I mean, that could be that could be three to four attempts here. He's probably a... 70, 120, 150, 170 type of jumper. Yeah, I would imagine. So he's probably not going to take too many attempts. Mikrozani, 175. Two kilos from his best clean and jerk. Three for three in the snatch. Solid pull, solid clean. Wow. Yeah, that's yeah. great. He's in rare sort of form here. Out. Excellent, yeah. excellent lifting from him already. He's looking at... Oh, he's, Blood he's on the torn bar. a callus. Yeah. They're going to have to clean that. Well, that's going to buy some time. I was just going to say that potentially is... Uh, Do you think Bozidar slipped him a 20? <laughs> so could you just uh, get the bar cleaned for yep. me? Solid lockout. Nice to see an Italian making lifts. Four lifts, four for four. We've not seen that in a while. Yeah, he's looking great right now. So 175 now for Max Lang. Once they clean that bar, he's got a minute. Lang, unfortunately, in 10th after the snatch. Mm. 143. He's done bigger lifts. He's been in heavier classes. He's been all around, actually. This is 10 kilos off his best ever clean and jerk. Yep. Extremely lean lift to have a cut down from the 85s. Strong. Yep, good clean. Now watch this. Back knee drop in the jerk. Wow. Yeah, that was a strong jerk. Yeah, I mean, that is one of the most perfect jerks you'll ever see. So, now the question is where does everyone go? We've got Asanidze here is calling for 75. He it sounds about right for him. He, didn't ma he made one bump to get here. I can't see him moving above that. No. His best ever is only 179. Yeah. Uh, but he snatched very well. 151. Yep, new personal best for him. Equal to the bronze medal snatch. Yep.
Big opener. Four kilos off his best. Sneaks yeah. under it. Tough recovery. Yeah, I think that's all yep. good. Yep. Brilliant. Right and he's the underway. Lead. Yeah, that's a total at the very least, and it's a big total. But it's not going to be enough to move ahead of the B group. That 3.35 uh, from Sanchez is just colossal. Yeah, that, that's a, a surprise number. Still he probably won't meet that. Yeah, no one, no one has even if exceeded did. it yet <laughs> in the A group. So 7-7 seven, seven here, going to be Ritvars. Yeah. See if he takes this. Again, considering he snatched so well, he might want to get one in. Yep. Before he starts playing the game. Yeah, I think his coach, Andruskovic, is just such an experienced coach. He's been around forever and produced so <laughs> many good lifters that he's going to make uh, smart calls. Definitely played the snatch as well. Now, we spoke about how incredibly well-drilled his snatch technique is. His clean and jerk, probably even more so. I believe we've seen videos in the near 200 range. Yeah. Back as an 81, he was yeah. regularly over 200 in training. Beautiful clean. It's unbelievable. Right to the jerk. Sound lift. Yeah, there's no moving around. I mean, yeah, like you said, if he's he just misses, it's a strength issue. He's just so solid, so consistent. So one seven eight now. This brings up Bazadar, Andreev. We'll see if he actually comes out for this. I imagine so. Nope. I, was I wrong? Spoke too soon. He bumped to one eighty. Yeah. So back to Zani, perhaps. Well, yeah, we... Well, Zani's finally gone. No, Mirko Zani's bumped to 180 as well. Okay. This is exactly what we expected, I think. Just everybody moving and moving. Now we have only one lifter. Well, yeah. Well, they have to be... Are yeah. the coaches aware of the B group total? Because athletes like Mirko be. Zani, they have to be looking to beat him. Yeah, you know that if he makes 180, it would only tie. It would only tie, and he'd be below. He'd need... Yeah. He'd need 181 to do it. I think he'll go there. Wow, Ritvar is all the way to 184. Let's Probably a placeholder. Yeah, see if he moves that down. So now 180 is the number. Everybody here taking 180. Although, no, 184 is yeah, would give needed to move ahead of the B group. Wow. So he actually might be taking that for that second attempt. It's like there's another competitor in the session that yeah. they've got to be looking at. They just have the benefit of knowing already what they need to know. Yeah, I mean, nine, nine times out of ten, a B session total like that is pretty easy to surpass. You know, we see that. They, they know what they need to do. People make that, you know, clever attempt, maybe bump up one kilo to get there. But that's a big number. Well, 335 is no joke. Very occasionally, the top lifters purposefully put themselves in a B group. I've seen that a few times, most recently with Rahmat Abdulli. He set the world record for yep. the B group, 200 kilos. Okay, 180 opener now for Bozadar. Tough clean. Yeah. Watch his hands move as he goes overhead. No, that. He oh, this is. That was nowhere near, but I think that was more of a. He was losing consciousness, I think. Yeah, the, the clean is way too tough. He, he even sort of beckon to his coaches don't worry that's just yeah that was me getting out of position in the clean he was very far forward in the stand just yeah, you could see the hands there though yeah, he they was do making move. the attempt but yeah he's shaking his head he's a bit dazed i wonder if shaking the head does do anything because we all do it there must be a, it's a natural instinct as we're sort of trying to sharpen back up we shake our yeah. heads like that it's an interesting point there's coach georgie in the back Keeping a keen eye on the numbers. So Asa Nidze has taken uh, a jump to 182. 
from 175. We've got Mirkozani at 180 for his second. He's only going to equal David Sanchez from the B group, who has a 335 total on there. And the top three snatchers are already out and making lifts. Yeah. And we have the two Turkish clean and jerk monsters yeah, down in the snatch, but haven't even come out. Kaljabrikin putting 186 in for some reason. <laughs> a strong clean. Very strong. And his lockout hold. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Oh, he stepped out with authority there. Five for five so Whoa. far. He is in incredible shape. I wonder if the Italians are going to get frustrated. Why did we go so light? We made a mistake. We <laughs> shouldn't be making these lifts. Wow. 335. That's going to equal the winning total from the B group. He's and it second. won't put him into the lead. Uh, I, I, I have to wonder if the one kilo difference there was just a lot. Max Lang now. Yeah. I'm actually looking in the crowds trying to locate the Italian team. You'd expect them to be here somewhere. They could be behind us. They're cleaning the bar here. Thank yeah, well, he got some blood on it on yeah. his opening attempt, so just that's probably not going to stop ble bleeding anytime soon. All right. Very big attempt for, for Max Lang recently. We haven't seen him really do this 180 mm -hmm. in the last few competitions. Max has a very strong upper body, but sometimes the jerk is in a bit of trouble. Methodical setup, he takes his time. Mm -hmm. Powerful clean. Yep. Yep. Yeah, Very we really strong. have some of the best drilled athletes in all of weightlifting competing in this category. He'll be happy with that one, and that's going to bump him up to 3-2-3 uh, three, three in the total. Still behind 2B totals. Yeah, he's in sixth place now. So Andrea Bozidor is going to have to come out now, you'd assume, to retake this 180. You know, after meddling in the snatch, it would be such a shame for him. Although he's got such a strong total from the World Championships. Yeah. It's not necessary that he totals here if he wants to make a, a run at Paris. Yeah, I think he may, may really just be focused on placement here in this competition. That first attempt... Just caught him off guard, it looked like. He was blacking out on that jerk. Well, Much quite, better yeah, clean. Quite a bit better. Wow. Very speedy, oh. I don't think he'll get back in front of it. Yeah. No. Right to the jerk, but then almost just a little bit too quick and did not get back under the bar. He looks a little bit oh. dejected there as he walks off. Yeah, he's in a bad spot. Missed two jerks at 180. The next move for him would be 181. But uh, we'll see if either of these two Turkish lifters take that 81. Incredible positions in his clean. And the hands move as he goes overhead. But can't get his hips back under uh, the bar. He's frustrated. Yeah, it's a shame to waste so much energy fighting for a lift that ultimately is missed. Yeah, and then the frustration builds too. You have one left and you need to get on the board, but you know exactly what your total is. Well, he, yeah, he, he can't moved. meddle now. Yeah. Because even if he makes this, he's actually going to be in a third. Yeah. And we still have athletes to come out. Kakias and Idzi hasn't come out yet. Yeah, big jump from Asanidze. 182 he's going to ask for. So opening attempt now for 
the first of the two Turks. This is Mohamed Erzbek. We also have Yusuf Gench coming out. Let's not forget, Mohamed made 190 kilos at the European Championships last year. He's the reigning European champion. This is his category. Yeah. A little bit down in the snatch. Going to have to do a lot to get up into the total medals. Yeah, I mean, he'll need that 190 just to pass the B group. Yeah. That's solid clean. He's got such short arms. Yeah. Perfect for the jerk. Great jerk. Yeah. I mean, the Turkish lifters, I mean, they're, they're making lifts, aren't they? Four, yeah. four for four there. Both the Turkish lifters would need to do a 190 total just to surpass David Lopez, David Sanchez from the B group at this point. That's remarkable. Yeah, it really is. Now watch this. We have Yusuf Gench. I don't normally say things like that. I don't want to <laughs> jinx it, but I think this is going to be quite impressive. This is a kilo less than his gold medal when yeah. he left at the World Championships in the 67s. He's opening here. Well, he told us that one day he's going to get a world record in this category. This is a big, big lift to open with. Good speed. Wow, right into the jerk. He is very strong. Yep. He's on the board. Not as nice as jerk, though, there, actually. It yeah. was just a touch forward as he stood at the clean. And because he's an athlete who times his jerk based on his clean, he was a touch out of position as he dipped and drived. Yeah, it's a, that's a dangerous game to play. Yeah, the you've got to be perfect. You've got to yeah. be Ilya or Rom now. You know, the yeah. few athletes have pulled it off. Okay, Kaki is roaring as he runs onto the platform here. A six kilo jump He's from his first up. to second. This definitely exceeds his best clean jerk by two kilos. This moves him into bronze. I hope David Lopez is in the audience from the B group and ready because he might need to come up for a medal ceremony. Yeah. He's he's right now chilly milly, I'd say. Yeah. He's I think so. He's waiting and watching. He's sitting chilly milly right now. Yep. Yep. Two kilo personal best. Oh, uh, wow. you know it looked he's that opener his looked leg. heavy. I wonder if something uh a cramp in the quadricep, maybe. Yeah, I really wouldn't be surprised. That's he says, or well he told us prior to the competition that he had a bit of a meniscus injury. Oh. So you got to hope that hasn't yeah. flared up. He That's almost looked like he started shaking just as he moved past mid-thigh, actually. Yeah, well, you know, as the leg Didn't gets straight, right. what's going to happen as that, that knee extends completely, it's going to put a lot more pressure on the meniscus. Yeah. And you're going to feel it. It's, it's unfortunate. <laughs> Max Lang taking 181 here. Wow. He's on the board. We don't think he's going to take 81. He's done 80. Yeah. It's likely that Rit Vasuharovs might be the next out. Yeah, he's moved back down to 182, yeah. like you, you said. I think a lot of these athletes put in second attempts to move ahead of our B group lifter and then realize this is just ridiculous. I'm, yeah. I'm playing yeah. into something that I don't need to do into my third attempt. And they've all removed those seven, eight kilo jumps have come back down. Yeah, it's smart. Still, nobody has passed David Lopez. He's he's winning right now. Yeah, he's 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 just towering over everybody at this point. Now he is chilly, really. Yeah. <laughs> Andrea Bozidar needs this. He took a bronze in the snatch with 151. This wouldn't put him up near his best total. It wouldn't beat his World Championships total, yeah. but. It's a pretty big, 
pretty big total still. Incredibly strong. He's done very big numbers before. Oh, best of the three yeah. cleans by far. Straight into it. Yeah. And that's going to hold. That's oh. going to hold. And he moves into medal contention. That puts him at 332 wow. kilos. Huge backflip. He's in uh, bronze medal here. That's our second backflip of the competition. Yeah, but the best by far, too. Absolutely love that. He stuck the landing. Wonderful. And he can walk into the back room knowing that his work here is done. Now imagine placing fourth at the World Championships and then suddenly you're at the European Championships and all these athletes out of the blue are yeah. pressing you and moving ahead and testing everything you have. Wow. Here we go. He landed that better than the one we saw the other yes. day. Oof. Ritvar is now 182. Stuck that landing. So Ritvar has a 152 snatch. This is going to bump him up five kilos. In this category, the most we've seen him do is 176. If he's successful, he's a kilo below mm -hmm. both Zani and Sanchez. Powerful clean, yeah, though. Yeah, very fast. Beautiful. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. He's going to hold that. He didn't need to take the extra kilo. No. Two kilos. He's He's got a third in him for sure. Ritvars is in a great position here. Yeah. We're seeing quite a performance from him. He's got one more clean and jerk. He seemingly has... You know, an endless tank. That was a great lift. So, Ritvars is presumably going to take at least, w well, 184 will be the smart call because it will move him ahead of Lopez and it will move him ahead of Mirko Zani. But Mirko's, you know, he'll take 182 now. That will move him ahead of Lopez. But yeah, yeah, Zani's taking the, the smart two kilo jump. This is a great move here. It's, it's Five or actually six. very likely that this is the gold medal lift. Yeah, could be. Even though we're still early on, it, this could be it. Well, I don't know. I wouldn't count out Ritvars. You I think mean, he'd go? He potentially could take a big jump. He's done 200 kilo clean and jerks. Yeah. As an 81. Yeah. Yeah, does it? We'll it see. It? Oh, oh, what a shame. Oh, what a way to go out after such a great performance. Five for... Gosh, that's interesting. I mean, he would have been told this is for the... He, he must have known you're not in the lead. This is for the lead. Yeah. Well, you and wonder... he couldn't get under it. You know, different athletes want different things. Some some like to be the front runner. Some like to be the underdog. Some don't like that pressure. 3-3-5. Three, three, I... It puts him top eight in the world. It yeah. does put him top eight. He's in a great spot. He's in an Olympic spot. Now, his khaki, he also couldn't get under it. On his last attempt, well, he's bumped up a kilo, but... Yeah, he, he grabbed at his knee there. If he does have an issue and it does cause any kind of pain, he's... Well, if he's feeling nervous or hesitant or yeah. at all has his mind in his knee as he's pulling, it's not good. Pulled his last attempt. Grabbed his knee. Oh, uh, it, was, he, it was brave. Yeah, that was a really bold move, but it too heavy. wasn't going to be there. Yeah. So, you know what? He's, he's still young, isn't he? I mean, he's got plenty of time to move up into these medal spots at an international level. But I don't think it's going to be today. And he's walking off with his head down. Very slowly. Yeah, it's All the coaches be. have left him. He's on his own walking back through that tunnel. Gotta That's a sorry sight, isn't it? Yeah. I think they potentially expected more from him. They hoped for more. They have a very high standard in the Georgian team. They took an incredible gold medal in the 61s, yeah. didn't they? And then no doubt they'll get another in the, well, probably get another in the supers. 
They might get another in the 102s or 109s even. They've got some great strength. So uh, Yusuf Gench here has 184. He's going to be the lifter. Yeah. I don't think... I thought he was going to go for a bigger jump. A 184 is going to lead to... Doesn't do anything, really. A 190. Well, it, I it could be wrong, though. He's, he's positioning himself a little bit better here. This would give him 330. It doesn't put him into the totals, but it, yeah. it could be a clean and joke medal. But, you know, maybe it sets himself up. Maybe that's what yeah. he's after. It's a personal best for him. He's yeah. never done this. Let's see if he can time this one a little bit nicer than he did on his opener. Wow. Oh, that extension is so insane. Tough clean. Right to there the we jerk, go. though. That's a great jerk. I don't know how much <laughs> more is, nicer. is in that clean, though. That bar. He was so laid back. He could have been lying down. Well, you see, initially, if we get the replay, I that bar see getting to his knee looked like he wasn't even able to stand up. He couldn't deadlift it. But look how far back his shoulders oh. go. Whoa. Yeah, so much in the hips. But he has incredible speed and confidence to get under that bar. And then the jerk, seemingly an afterthought, just blows through yeah, it. No does. problem. Look at that. Back foot's flat. Flat back ground. foot, yeah. 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 <laughs> it's not conventional. So, but he's, he's, he's got 330. He's in fifth. He's right not now. even in first in the clean and jerk. No. Hernandez, uh, sorry, Sanchez still has well, you know, the clean and jerk gold and the total gold. Sanchez went six for six. He had a fantastic day, 150, 185 from the B session. You so know, this is a second assault on Sanchez. Ritvar is making a great move here, 184. This would this put him could in actually first. be the gold medal lift. I could see this. I don't think either of us expected something like this. We didn't think he was turning up. Yeah. We actually, yeah, when we said before this, he's, he's not here. 184, huge personal best in this category for him. So Great strong. clean. He's never wow. won a European Championships, and he may well he is have won one now. That could be it. Yeah. I mean, there's so many. Well, there were a few attempts left. He's the first person so far. This is the first lift to surpass the B session total. There are only four important attempts left. There are three from Counter Bracken that we're not going to count right now because he didn't let register a snatch. He's, he's put Max Lang can't do it. Yeah, Max Lang at 185. He won't be able. To, he won't be moving ahead in the total. Now he'll be going for a medal in the clean and jerk for sure. Ozbek would need a 191 clean and jerk. That's possible. Yeah, he we, did 190 we, last year. Oh, yeah. that's possible. He did the 190 afterward too. He he had already won it by then. Wow. Gent would also need 191. Based on that last clean, I'd be, uh, I'd be sh amazed for him to take that up. <laughs> oh, Brickens pulled out. Yeah, okay. So, down to the last three clean and jerks. Four. Four, sorry. Yeah. Okay, here's Max Lang. Huge lift for him. It equals his personal best. Oh, just sneaks under. Yep. Oh, big drive. There we go. Wow. Oh, he's got so much in the jerk there. What a lift. Max Lance. It Salute. Is he going to... He's walking away with a... Clean and jerk medal. No, not necessarily. Wow, he's in, he's in not second. Not necessarily. He's in second. We've got the two Turks, though. Yeah. But... So... Wow. 185 is on the board for Gench. We know he's going to boot. Oh, he's calling for 186. Okay, Muhammad 186 Ozbeck. for the clean and jerk medal. They're both calling for 86. I guess Osbeck is doing the right thing here. 86 to 91. 86 to 91. I think we might see an attempt at it. Yeah, if anyone could do it, it would be Osbeck. He is the reigning European champion. He told us that he had incredible pain in his knee and his ankle. He told me he had a wrist injury. He said, don't expect much. Yeah. And yet here he is. This for the lead in the cleaner track. 
Three attempts remain, two of them are his. So slow in the pull, but he's up. Ah, behind. Oh. What does he do now? It's a do or is die. Is it just too... He's, he's is it crazy to jump to 191 for the gold? Well, he doesn't have much time here, too, because there's only one lift before his last. Gench at 186. Will he come out and take that? I mean, what, I does, think what does he want? Does he want a clean and jerk medal, or does he want maybe the win, or maybe seventh place? Yeah, he's you been know, a European like champion. I think, I think he's... Does he want the repeat? <sighs> That's a tough one. I don't know if I don't know if that clean was confidence inspiring. They're showing enough. Max Lang in the image there. I mean he's not actually oh. got a gold medal in anything. Gench. Okay, let's see it. Watch this pull from the ground of the knee. He referred to himself as a classic Turkish boy when we spoke to him. Not sure what that means. <laughs> Said he loves his country's history. Oh, much better there pull. We go. Uh, he got on his toes and, it, oh, and wow. he still got it up. How did he do that? Much better lift all around. I'm surprised he only took the 86. Did he dip on his toes? Yeah, he was all he over was the off. place. Whew. He's got some strong calves. Wow. That's the. That's the gold medal clean and jerk. Fifth in the total. What do we see here? Does Osbeck take 187 to try and steal that gold medal clean and jerk from his teammate? Or does he go yep. 90? He has 87. Got, he's got 87. For now, so we'll see. 6, 33. So that moves him into, that will move him into fourth in the total. Yeah, he's coming out for it. Yep. So we know. Wow. The Rit Ritfasu Harris is finally European champion. What an incredible yeah. turn of events here. David Sanchez from the B group has taken the silver. Mirko Zani snuck a bronze. This is for the clean and jerk medal. Which clean and jerk gold medal. To take it from his teammate. Yeah. He made 190 last year. He struggled a little bit recovering from this. He's got some knee pains. You can see he's bandaged yeah. up on his right leg there. He's been quite beat up in training. So uh, tough. Yeah, not there today. A little forward as well, wasn't it? What a session. Unbelievable. I have to say that added element of having such an incredible total from the B group just made that unbelievable. I mean, it almost looked like no one noticed that until about halfway through the clean yeah. jerks. Well, we didn't. Yeah. You know, it, it took it a while before we saw it. So big. But there's your European champion. Look at him. He looks like he can hardly contain his emotions. Unbelievable. We've been watching this guy competing. I mean, we've been watching him compete for 10 years. Yeah. Since I got into the sport, you know, I've seen him at junior national champions and championships and making the international scene. And, and finally, you can see he can't, uh, he can barely believe it. Not an easy session. It wasn't like this was a walk in the park. This was, <laughs> this was not chilly. No, movie. no. He, Max he, Lang was right. Yeah, he had to fight it out. Made five for six lifts, 152, 184. Wow. The bronze medal then in the total goes to Mirko Zani on your screens now from Italy. The silver medal from the B group, David Lopez Sanchez, 150, 185. The only one of two athletes, sorry, to go six for six. The other was Yusuf Gantz, who took a gold medal in the total. Sorry, in the cleaner jerk. But then the uh, the bronze medal in the total to Mirko Zani. Wow, gold medal to Rip Vastu Harovs. Unbelievable, 152, 184. Nobody expected it. There's Yusuf, he should be happy. You know, at his last two competitions, he's snuck gold medals. Only in clean and jerks, nothing yet in the total, but his time, no doubt, will come. That's going to be it from us. We're going to keep this stream going so that you can watch the medal ceremony and see Rip Vasu Harris finally, once and for all, stand atop that senior European podium. We'll be back tomorrow. We have the men's 81s.
and the women's 71 session with the world record holder, Laura Donatoma. We'll see you there.